Tell me about uh, where there's room for innovation in your sector. Sure, Corey. Uh, there's tremendous room for innovation in the ticketing sector. Um, ticket uh, sellers historically have not offered significant tools uh, to help venues and event promoters to sell more tickets. Um, and ticket sellers uh, today are offering better technology for the venues and event promoters. Better how? Well, uh, traditional ticket sellers historically just offered ticketing software. Ticket sellers today, like Ticketfly, offer website tools, email marketing tools, social tools, uh, analytics, uh, CRM, that sort of thing, uh, which helps venues and event promoters to sell more tickets more effectively. Uh, talk to me uh, specifically about that. What kind of information, let's say, take an event like Burning Man, uh, what kind of information are you offering the promoters at Burning Man? You sell Burning Man tickets, right? So, uh, you know, uh, what kinds of things do they want to know? Um, well, Burning Man may not be a fantastic example. Burning Man tickets sell rather quickly. Uh, we recently put tickets on sale for Burning Man and sold 38,000 tickets in a matter of uh, 44 minutes. Uh, and uh, I will say that uh, it was very gratifying to see the feedback on social media about how the ticket sell selling process was uh, more fluid than historically. But for other venues and event promoters historically, the, the ticket buyer has been rather opaque. Uh, venues and promoters have not had good access as to who these event goers are. Uh, there are mavens who go to tons of shows, who are prolific users of social media, and uh, Ticketfly uh, helps uh, venues and promoters like that to better harness or channel those ticket sellers. You know, this, this whole thing that the airlines are kind of pioneer with load balancing, do, does, do you see the, the behavior of those sellers of tickets who might identify someone that they really want at their show because they'll have more of an impact on social media or so on and therefore offer that person cheaper tickets? Oh, a absolutely. Uh, we call them mavens and, um, uh, you know, we just know that there are power users who are buying tons and tons of tickets. Uh, we find that 30% uh, of the users drive uh, a tremendous portion of the ticket sales. So a big goal of venues and event promoters is to incentivize those people to continue with this fantastic behavior and reward them uh, for uh, the positive uh, behavior on social media, et cetera. Talk to me about market share. You know, who are the leaders here and, and where do you see your biggest opportunities? Sure. I mean, the, the dominant player in the ticketing industry is Ticketmaster. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, one market difference between us and traditional ticket sellers, we, we tell the marketplace, we're not a ticketing company. Uh, we are a holistic technology solutions provider. Uh, one of the things that we do is ticketing, and we do it quite well. But in addition to that, uh, we power all the technology functions uh, for uh, our clients. And that's one uh, market uh, or pointed difference between us and Ticketmaster. And uh, I think there's an opportunity, uh, a tremendous opportunity for upstarts like ours to really eat into the market share of uh, the incumbent uh, providers. Holistic technology solution provider. I think you should maybe add acupuncture. It sounds like it would fit right in there. <laughs> so let me ask uh, about concerts and about the, the, the big shows. Are, are those sort of tentpole events, the, 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 the festival tours, are those of increasing importance in the ticket business? Um, absolutely. Uh, the, the fastest growing segment of the live events industry is the uh, festival market. Uh, and there are a number of, uh, of very uh, notable festivals uh, which take place in the United States. We're coming up on festival season now. Uh, the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival, for instance, has put its tickets on sale and um, uh, has sold out. They have uh, big acts like Arcade Fire, Muse, uh, and a uh, to be reunited outcast. But, but Corey, unfortunately for you, uh, I'm sorry to report there is no Daft Punk on this year's uh, Coachella Festival. Uh, I know you're a big fan of Daft Punk. Yeah, it's a, it's a heartbreaker indeed, but I, I'll be okay. <laughs>